Hi, uh, my name is Anju. Welcome to my life page. Today I am going to talk about sustainability and life cycle assessment. But before that, let me give me an introduction of myself. I am a science graduate. I did my BSc in Botany, Zoology and Chemistry. After that, I did my MSc in Environmental Science and subsequently I did my PhD in Environmental Toxicology. Uh, after my PhD, I joined uh, GE, General Electric, as toxicity expert in Bangalore. In that role, I was working for around two years and subsequently I moved into life cycle and sustainability role with GE Plastics. With GE Plastics, in the sustainability and life cycle assessment role, I spent five years. I learned the nuances of life cycle assessment and sustainability. And after five years, I moved into another role, which is my current role, wherein I'm working as scientist with Wildlife Institute of India since uh, 2015. So sustainability is a broad term. It means using the resources in such a way, using the resources so judiciously that we do not exhaust all the natural resources that earth is providing us. We have to leave some resources or most of the resources in its intact form and current form for our future generations as well. So that is all sustainability is about wherein you use the resources in a very judicious manner so that you use it and you also leave it in an intact form for it for the future generations to come. Now coming to life cycle assessment, what is life cycle assessment? Life cycle assessment is a process, it is a tool wherein you assess the environmental impact of a product or a process or a service right from the beginning of its life that is right from the, the stage where the raw material are extracted till the material is converted into a product, the product goes into the use phase and eventually the used product has an end of the life wherein the product is either disposed of, it either goes into a landfill or it is incinerated or perhaps some energy is also recovered at the end of the life. So this is how we actually calculate the impacts, the environmental impacts of the life of a product right from the extraction till the end of the life. You should also have an understanding of what biodiversity is. Now biodiversity is all about the life around you, be it the animal life, be it the plant life or in simple terms you can say the flora and fauna around you. You have to have knowledge of all the biodiversity around you, around the country and also around the world. The understanding and the working of the softwares, the software models that are required for life cycle assessment. The most used software in the world which is Pro software and the second is Gabby software. Both the software comes with their demo versions. You can go online and look at their demo version and start building basic models in those demo versions. It will be very useful for you. I must tell you that this is a highly valued, highly respectable field and also it is a very high paid field. You are going to be paid handsomely if you are a sustainability professional. If you are a researcher, if you are in academic field and you are working on a life cycle assessment project, then you might face challenge that not much work has been done earlier into this particular field, into life cycle assessment and you might not have uh, data to refer or you might not have data as baseline to, to be referred in your project. A day in my life used to be pretty much fun and exciting. I used to begin my day in office at around 9, 9.30 and my first task used to be to prepare a to-do list wherein I used to write down all the activities that I would be doing during the day. And my first activity used to be reading. Remember in my last section also I told that as a sustainability and LCA practitioner, you need to do a lot of reading. So my first activity used to be reading the papers, reading the reports and the reviews 
from the similar projects or from similar activities after spending a couple of hours in reading i used to start working on my projects which is basically building the models interpreting the models and analyzing the models and it usually used to end by 7:30 or 8 o'clock i hope i have been able to give you a balanced view of sustainability and life cycle assessment thank you